Okay guys, in this video I was actually planning on making a Crystal Craw versus Kraken Craw video, which is basically Guggen Baits versus Yum. And unfortunately I wasn't able to catch enough bass to be happy making the video. And I hit a couple different ponds, as you'll see in this video. I'm recording this after the fact because I know that it didn't end up the way I wanted it to. But I'm still making a video on it since I still caught some fish, still had some fun. And yeah guys, so just keep in mind that I was filming a Kraken Craw versus Crystal Craw video. So just so you guys know that when I'm talking about like the two different baits, it's not like confusing. But yeah guys, I was comparing the two baits and seeing which one would be better, cheapest, expensive. I'm still going to make that video. I'm probably going to make that video tomorrow, but yeah, I just... I'm going to not title it that. I'm going to title it whatever this title ends up being. So, yeah, guys. Um, hope you enjoy. I'll see you at the pond. All right, guys. I'm at this little pond here. On this rod, I've got a crag and craw rigged up with a little weight. Just with a hook. And on this rod, I have, a, I have that jig I was talking about. So, I have one hour to fish the jig and just, we, just weightless. And... So I can switch back and forth if I'm fishing deeper, then I'll fish the jig, but I've never fished this pond before and it's looking kind of juicy. It's this little neighborhood pond. In an hour, I'm going to switch to the, to the, um, what's it called? The, I forgot the name of the, the yum craw, but yeah, I'm going to switch up to the yum after I fish this for an hour. So yeah, I'll see you guys once I get some sort of action. Something tiny is munching this thing. Right when I cast it, they, nip, they nibble it. Maybe if I wait a little bit. Got one. Holy crap. Oh my God. That is not the species we are looking for, but it is 100% <laughs> a big green sunfish. Seems like all I've been able to catch the past couple weeks. That is a fat green sunfish. He destroyed that. I will not count that as a first fish, but that thing is doing good things in life. I'm gonna let him go. Right here. I guarantee you. See that? Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even not even know he was on. Look at that. This might just have to be a green sunfish competition. I don't even know if there's bass in here. I've never fished here before. But at least there's something. So yeah guys, pretty much I'm going to be switching up to the jig and sending it out deep. And I'm going to see if there's even bass in here. I mean there should be. Because like, wh why wouldn't there be bass in here? But I'm going to see if there's even bass in here. Okay, I don't even know if this pond has fish in it or bass in it. But I switched up to the Christy Craw. Let's see if this can catch us a fish. I don't know. But if, if I don't catch a fish in 30 minutes, I'm going to leave. <gasps> no, I think that was a bass. I think that might have been a bass. Dang it. I could not see it. But it looked like it was it looked like it was a little bass. It might have been a green sunfish, but it was looking like it was a bass. Do you know if there's bass in here? God, I 
flipping for green sunfish. Is that a bass? Oh my god, it's a giant. It is a freaking giant. I saw this guy eat it, holy crap. Look at that thing. That's probably one of the biggest green sunfish I've ever caught. He is huge. I saw him eat that right at the shore. I mean, it's not a bass, but like, I thought it was a little bass chasing it because it was so big. Giant. I'm just gonna restart the challenge at a different pond that I know is fish because of fish brain. Because I went on fish brain and I was looking at ponds and this one didn't have any catches on it, but it was still pretty close. So I just went to it to see, to see what was up. And it looked juicy when I looked at it, so. But yeah, the other pond for sure has bass in it. So we're gonna go over there and restart the challenge. All right guys, I pulled up to the next pond. This is actually, uh, hospital pond there's three of them that are like kind of close together so like this first one like the second two actually look like um pretty accessible like there's a walking path around it and stuff this one's got a bunch of reeds and crap around it so i don't know how this is gonna work but i saw a little fish right here so i'm just gonna try it and if it doesn't work i can just walk like 50 feet to the right and there's a uh, two other ponds that are actually um for sure a bass in it, but I don't know what's in this pond. Probably nothing, but oh well, might as well give it a shot. Okay, now this pond looks a little more accessible now, doesn't it? This is the pond that like someone, a couple people logged fish catches on fish brain. So hopefully we can actually catch some bass here. Screw this challenge, I'm just trying to catch fish now. With the uh, um Christy Craw or whatever it's called. Oh, yes, finally, bro. Literally right after I said that, dude, that thing does not, these fish in here do not bite. I swear, they feel like something just thud and then nothing. Okay, that one is not terrible. It's like on the verge of a dink, probably about a half pounder. Look at that big tail. It's a big tail fin. But yeah, not a dink, but almost a dink. So yeah, I don't know, the other one that bit, I don't know if this was the same one, probably not, but the other one that bit, it like, I felt a bite, and then it, I was like, oh, this is, like I felt just a one pull, and then nothing. Like, I, it felt like weeds. So then I, I just set the hook and then I felt some movement. So I don't know. These fish do not do not tell you when they bite. They just bite and then they sit there. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. 
This is a private property. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, it's confusing. Okay. Uh, and I wish they would mark it. They'd mark it more swimming, but... Yeah, I didn't see any signs, so well, I... It doesn't say anything about no fishing, Yeah. but there is no fishing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you caught anything? I caught one bass. One bass? Okay. It was small, though. Uh, well, you're gonna get bigger someday. Yeah. So all of this is private yeah, property? This is, yes, this is all hospital property. And I think it's okay. more of a liability issue that somebody would fall into. Yeah. So, I understand. You have a really nice bicycle here, but you probably don't want to leave unattended. Yeah. It's not just your Murray bicycle being a nice swim. Mm hmm. No, this is my first time. We had one guy that said he saw the biggest northern he'd ever saw on one of these. And then I think somebody the other day that we just talked to, uh, it's a lot of bluegills, a lot of little ones. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're stunted from the pond because they've been here for 20 years, I imagine. But yeah, I don't know. I, I just got here. have to be some nicer ones in there. I've never seen one, but it has everything. I know, like when they build all those between the highways. So yeah, guys, that cop ended up talking to me and he was pretty nice. Like he wasn't telling me to get off the property right away. He was just kind of like talking to me, having a conversation and telling me that, um, you know, it was private property and that if someone gets hurt, they don't want to be liable for that. So, you know, he was pretty nice about it, but yeah, so basically I wasn't really able to film an outro because I was obviously getting talked to and that would just be awkward to be like talking in front of him. But anyway, he was pretty nice. I was being respectful. I was just agreeing to what he was saying. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week.